Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 1st of October where I take just one of our hundreds of signals every day and set it up for you. So in our members area for our stocks scanner membership, our members get potential long fifth wave trades and potential short fifth wave trades on the daily, the 60 minute time frame and the weekly time frame. In the members area here, as you can see for today, I just simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which some, looks something like this. So I'm looking at the daily time frame. If you look at the bottom of the uh, spreadsheet there, you can see the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute. I'm going to concentrate on the daily time frame today so you can get a good swing trading for the week. I'm looking at, we're going to look at SNPS Synopsis Inc on the uh, scanner results there. So let's have a look at the chart. First of all, this is the Wave5Trade.com Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for NinjaTrader NT8 platform. Uh, you can see here I've isolated the lows back in April and we've got an ABC correction and then our software has labeled an Elliott Wave 1, 2, 3 and now the Wave 4 pull gap, pullback and that's what we're interested in. I'm going to take a closer look at this on the Think or Swim version. So this is the same Wave 4 pullback but on our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the think or swim platform i want to talk about three main filters that we use uh, for the stock scanner membership and also on our alley wave indicator suite you can see here the wave force pulled back and found support in the green zone these are our probability pullback zones and this green zone represents an 85 percent probability if that support is found and we start to move away then we've got an 85% probability we're going to go on and hit that new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here in blue around about $105 there. The next filter we have is uh, performance of the wave 4. So this is our 535 oscillator and it pulls back between 90 and 140%. So that's really, really good. And then our special false breakout stochastic. The, the false dots, the yellow dots on the top here in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish trend. And when the stochastic pulls back against that strong trend it's like an elastic band it wants to return to that main strong bullish trend and that's what we're looking for so those those three initial indicators then we've got to go for an entry so entry our 6-4 moving average high, our special advanced moving average here in the green is our, we've got to enter above there as well as entering above this uh, pivot point just here. Uh, so we've gone, I've gone above the whole $100 mark as well. So $100.58, which is outside of the 6-4 moving average high for today's bar position. And again, this is the daily time frame for SNPS. And also above this pivot point here, which rejected the move up and came to move to make a lower wave four. So we want to be above there. So 158 is the entry. The stop loss is below the wave four low here. So stop loss is around about 97.80. And that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 right into the middle of our target zone there around $105. So great risk to reward. Uh, even at this previous all-time high, this wave three high here will one to one. Uh, so if we do struggle again at those sort of highs, we still get a tease and profit and get out. Uh, but the main thing is we're setting up this swing trade on the daily time frame. The signals have come from the Wave 5 Trade Scanner membership. And then we've used our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, which is available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, NinjaTrader, and the Think or Swim platform to set this up just to look at the 535 how the wave 4 uh, performs the st special false breakout stochastic and the pullback zones for our wave 4 and obviously our automated target zone there so that's it for today nice looking long on snps um, have a great training date speak to you all tomorrow